Some of you are realizing that your percents don't add up to 100%. So it could be several reasons. One could be that rounding error. So if you're really close to 100, like 98, 99, even 97, 101, re do your calculations looking at your rounding mistakes. But if you're a lot over, a lot under, you need to check your hour work. So when you made your chart, and let's say you had six hours, eight hours, two hours, one hour for your different categories, um, and then some of us were using half hours, so like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, or 40 minutes. Um, these aren't in hours, and we need to work in the same units. Just like when we're doing measurement, we always use all centimeters or all kilometers. So we need to turn these minutes into how we would talk about them in an hour. So some are easier than others. We know 30 minutes is 0.5 of an hour. And even just picture a clock that half an hour looks like half the clock. 15 minutes is a quarter of our clock, which is 0.25 of an hour. And then 40 minutes, it gets a little trickier because it's not exactly, um, it's not 3 quarters, it's just a little bit less. So we need to take 40 minutes divided by 60 and so that's 4 6 which is 2 thirds which is 66 so decimal 6 6 7 if we're going to round um, so these are the numbers now that you're going to use when you're dividing so when you did your 6 divided by 24 and your 8 your 2 and your 1 you're now going to have your 0 0.5 divided by 24 or 0.25 divided by 24 and then you're going to get your decimal you're going to times by your hundred to get your percent um, some of you are using a lot of minutes and you're getting very specific, which is fantastic. So I've seen some people decide rather than working in hours, they're going to work all in minutes. So all their denominators are minutes. So how many minutes in a day? 24 times 60. And that's your new denominator. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you because it's your assignment. But that's your new denominator rather than using 24. So you would turn all of your hours into minutes. So 6 hours times 60 minutes, so 360 minutes. Um, your choice, work all in decimals or, work, or sorry, work all in hours or work all in minutes, but you need to have the same units.